Welcome back to Suvida Everything, guys. Today, you saw the thumbnail. Mau Mau is not feeling that great. And Mau Mau, today I think it's gonna cheer you up. We got some Wagyu in the house, Mau Mau. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. We got some Wagyu in the house, everybody. You know, Wagyu is fantastic, but I always like to taste a lot of the meat. I wanna taste that wonderful flavor. But is it better to make a fancy Wagyu or stick with the traditional? Well, we're gonna do that test today, and I'm sure you don't mind it, right, Mama? Not at all. <laughs> Enough talking, let's do it. Wagyu is amazing. I've cooked it several different ways. On the grill, on the flap top, on the pan, searing it with butter. And my crazy nephew even deep fried it. And man, was it good. I mean, this steak is just phenomenal. There's nothing you can do to make this steak taste bad. However, I've always eaten it very simple with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. But today we're gonna fancy it up and see which one is best. So let's do it. This is an Australian Wagyu Marbling Score 7. As you can see, the intramuscular fat marbling is amazing. If you had to ask me, one of my favorite steaks from all times. And today we have two of them. I started off by seasoning both with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now, even though I don't always show, I always season both sides. One of the biggest mistakes most people make is not seasoning it well enough. So make sure you do. After seasoning, I bagged it up, vacuum sealed it, and let it rest overnight in my refrigerator so it can brine. This will ensure that the seasoning will penetrate deeply into the meat. For a fancy wagyu, I'm making pickled onions, and it's pretty straightforward. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below. I started off by chopping some red onions. I recommended not going too thin. And these are all the ingredients. We got black peppercorns, fine table salt, coriander seeds, granulated sugar, red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and regular fresh water. Now we gotta combine all these ingredients in the right sequence to make this wonderful pickled onions. We start off by toasting the peppercorns and coriander. When I say toast, I don't mean burn. Just lightly toast them in medium-high heat, and they're ready. If they start smoking, you went too far. Usually takes no more than 30 to 45 seconds. On the same pot, throw in your red wine vinegar, followed by the apple cider, the fresh water, and the granulated sugar. Bring everything to a light boil. As soon as you see bubbles on the edges, it's ready. Using a mason jar, make sure you packed up as much as you can of that beautiful red onions. Keep in mind that you can pack it tightly, because when you add the hot mix, it will automatically make more space. So pack as much as you can. Then you want to add the liquid while it's still hot. Bring it all the way to the top. And to finish it off, throw in the toasted spice mix. Shake it well and your pickle onions are done. Now you want to let it cool down before you put it in the refrigerator. Before eating it, give it at least 24 hours. And they will last quite some time on your refrigerator. But good luck with that. They are so delicious that you're just gonna chop it up. Now these have a mild taste. They're not that strong at all. But if for whatever reason you want to taste almost no onion flavor, there's something else you can do. Repeat the same exact process but before adding the onions, just boil them lightly. This will take much of the bitterness out. If any of your family members don't like onions whatsoever, I recommend you doing this first and introduce them to pickled onions. This will give such a light flavor that they will enjoy and once they're used to it, get them the real deal. And especially for kids, this is a perfect way to get them started. As you can see, the difference is quite dramatic. This one is much lighter, but it still gives a nice crunch and that sweet flavor. But now that we have the preparations for our fancy Wagyu ready, I am cooking these beautiful steaks at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. We got our beautiful steaks cooking. I cooked that at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. We are excited and ready. Let's take it out. Let's do it. They smell absolutely incredible, as expected, everybody. But like always, have to pet it dry so it can get a nice sear. And you might be wondering, Guga, where'd you get this idea from? What's going on here? So I have to give a big shout out to one of my favorite chefs here in Miami. She doesn't even know who I am, but her name is Chef Adrian. She makes beautiful and incredible steaks, everybody. And if you are ever around the Miami area, I definitely recommend her restaurant. But she makes a beautiful steak there. Obviously, she does not use Wagyu, but she makes it with goat cheese, which I'm gonna be putting on the fence one, and also some pickled onions and a little bit of mustard seeds. And let me tell you something, it is absolutely amazing. That's how I got inspired for this one. But anyway, so we're gonna find out if Wagyu is worth it to fancy it up. 
I'm going to be making one traditional as you saw it and the next one is going to be quite fancy. But I know these steaks don't look that good right now. But watch this. As you can see, they look absolutely incredible, but now it is time to cut them. Let's do it. All right, everybody, as you can see, we have the beautiful steaks ready cut up and my good friend Ninja, he's in a meeting right now. But at the same time, Mama is not feeling great. And I think it would be just polite for Mama to give it a try. Mama is like looking at the steak and like salad. Are you, are you all right, Mama? Oh, I need some more <laughs> napkins over here. Too much grill. Mama is drooly. So we're gonna let Mama give it a try first for the first time on sous vide everything. You try first, Mama. You ready? Wow, uh, like you guys can't see him. Give me the camera. Look at that. Look at that. I'm are you excited, eating. Mama? It takes the ninja being busy for me to eat first. So I guess that's what it is. <laughs> Right. You gotta try it first, Mama. Oh, look who's back! It's what? Yeah, bro, you're in a meeting. Yeah, I eat first, bro. Yeah, bro, he's not feeling good. Today is his turn. He's gonna try it first. Are you excited, Mama? Yeah. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you join us. Hold on, what are you doing? Oh my, he didn't even I'm wait. Hungry. Oh, how does it taste then? Mm. It's wagyu. Come on, it's ridiculous. It's wagyu? Wow, that's all you gotta say. It's wagyu? It's ridiculous? It's cold. I apologize, guys. I'm doing my best. <laughs> now you wanna try the next one or we're gonna wait? I'll try the other No, you have to wait. No. Yes. No. Everything combined together, Mo. Let me know. You know what? That cheese, that cheese does something to it, Ego. Doesn't it? Yeah. It, oh. it kind of cuts the that overpowering thing that the wagyu usually have with the fat and it lets you enjoy even more. You feel better, Mama? A little better. Mama feels a lot better now, everybody. Huh? I think that why you give you wins. <laughs> now, Mama. Mama feels Mama good. Is feeling better. Comment below, hashtag Mama feel better, everybody. Mama is not feeling great. All right. Cheers, buddy. You didn't even cheers me. You went right off. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> I have my time. Wow. Damn, bro. Why you? Shuts you up. Mm. That's a fact. Mm. Wow, that garlic goes so good with that wagyu. Man, I know you didn't have the energy, Mama, to do it, Mama, but this is amazing, that, everybody. That's how it feels, guys. The way they're doing it, that's how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I'm going. I'm going to do it for you, Mama. Are you ready? Go for it. This wagyu is. It is, brother. Exactly like that. That's how it is, my mom. There's no way, my mom, I have energy for that today. Oh, my. No way. <laughs> Not delicious for you, my mom? No. Not I mean, amazing? Nothing? It, no, it is delicious. I just cannot. You don't have the energy, uh, right, my I cannot <laughs> express it like you guys. My mom, you're making me cry. Stop it, my mom. <laughs> okay, enough. Ninja, let's go for the fancy one. Let's see. You prefer the fancy wagyu, my mom? I, I like what he does with the wagyu. Okay. What, what cheese is this? This is a goat cheese with... Uh, Pickled onion, get a little bit of the onion too, all combined together. That's good. All right. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's nice. All right. Mm. Oh, that's real nice, mama. <laughs> it's really nice. It's not that intense flavor. And it goes so good. It goes so good with the steak. Okay, wait, we have to vote. Which one's better? What do you mean which one is better, bro? I, in your opinion. That's not an honest comparison. What do you mean, bro? We have the standard traditional one and we have the fancy one. Which one's better? The fancy. <laughs> I agree as well. You know, Wagyu is fantastic by, your, by itself, but when you add some amazing things to it, it complements the steak even better. That's why she does it. And I saw this picture on Instagram from her Instagram. I'm going to put her Instagram on the link down below everybody. So you can check it out. And I saw that I was like, wow, I have to give that a try. I've been to her restaurant several times, but I've never had 
this combination and she hits it right on the money. It's Who, amazing. Who's better, Chef Adrian or Franklin's? There's not, she, does, she doesn't do barbecue. Why are you putting I me put on the spot, bro? Stop, bro? No, she doesn't do barbecue. I put you on the spot, bro, no, because no, I didn't no. bring me brisket. I told you to bring me brisket. It's like if you compare which one is better, a Cuban sandwich, Cuban sandwich. or a Brazilian sandwich. Cuban sandwich. No way. <laughs> what do you mean? Cuban sandwich. All right, we're going to have to finish this video before something else happens, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. We always eat with a salad, everybody, even though I don't always show the salad, because this is a simple coleslaw, which I've done it on the channel several times. But Ninja was just asking me again, I don't know if I showed the cheese. This is the cheese I used, in case you're wondering. Can you focus more? Does it focus? Uh, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you can see it? Mm -hmm. So this is the cheese I used, everybody, in case you're wondering. I know I didn't show it on the video too much. The different thing about the cheese is that it's really nice, it's really creamy, and doesn't have that goat cheese It's not, too, it's not too strong, it's just it's a nice, strong at all. It's nice it's really mild nice. taste. That's why I just... It's almost like cream cheese, man. Yeah, it's wonderful. It is good. I think we're gonna we're gonna put this goat cheese and a little bit more of that pickled onion on top of the regular steak to make everything just fancy. <laughs> yeah. I put a little bit of the pickled onion just to make a nice presentation. But guys, I mean, you can eat this by itself on a taco and everything. How do you like it, Ninja? Love it. It is amazing, everybody. It's a perfect complement for sandwiches, burger. And they just asked me, do you have a little bit more? Oh, yes. <laughs> Take care, everybody.